Assalamu alaikum. Allah the Exalted says, Do they not look at the camels, how they are created? Indeed, glory be to Allah the Most High, who has full knowledge of His creation. If we have a deep look at the camel, we would find it as one of the most wonderful creatures. Basically, camels are of two types. The single hand humped camels that are known as dromedary camels and other ones are two humped or double humped camels that are termed as Bactrian camels. Majority of the camel population constitutes dromedary camels that are single humped. The camels live in desert. Their habitat is desert, so they have distinctive characteristics that make them well suited for their environment. Starting from the facial features, if we have a look on the facial features, their lips are rubbery and tough. Why this is so? Why their lips are rubbery and tough? Because the only food available in desert are the thorny plants. Camels are capable of eating them easily without any harm, so they are blessed with lips that are rubbery and tough. Their ears are small and not prominent. They are completely covered with hair for the protection from blowing sand through filtration and their nostrils can be voluntarily open and closed. They are narrow slit like elongated in shape so it closes them for protecting itself against wind borne particles. The sand particles could enter through the nose into the lungs so they are capable of closing them voluntarily. This is the unique feature of camel. Now have a look on their eyes. Their eyes have the ability to magnify objects. So they show distant objects near and magnify small objects. That's why the camel even obeys a small kid. Yes. To combat with the sandstorm, these eyes are protected by thick bushy eyebrows and a double row of eyelashes. The beautiful eyelashes are there to protect the eyes from the sand particles. Now there is another very interesting feature of camel that is the third eyelid. The third eyelid of the camel is transparent in nature. The camel can see through it thus the camel pass through the sandstorm with its eyes closed. Wow! I mean seriously wow! Now the long legs and thick knee pads. The newborn camel, the baby camel that is born is having these thick knee pads because camel have to sit on the hot sand of the desert and it has long legs that have powerful muscles to hold the body weight and to hold the body above much of this dust is known and help it to move lightly and easily. Now we will discuss the camel's endurance and thirst. How the camel holds its thirst, how it is so patient in terms of its thirst, is um, a need of food, the energy. First of all, we have to think that definitely it has some behavioral and physiological characteristics that enable it to do so. First of all, I will discuss panting. Camel does not pant at all. As you all know that panting promotes evaporation of water. Thus, to conserve water, it does not breathe from its mouth and it does not pant at all. Generally, mammal's body temperature does not fluctuate according to their environment. But, camel has specialized ability, the special ability that of regulating the body temperature, fluctuating the body temperature up to 7 degrees, that is a huge number, between 34 degree to 41 degree Celsius. If a man's body temperature reaches either of the two levels between which the camel's body temperature fluctuates, that is 34 to 41, he may die, seriously, he may die. It is a matter of common observation that if our body temperature fluctuates a little bit, whether it's higher 
or lower range it is the symbol of sickness at night the camel that is fluctuating the body temperature what does it do at night at night the camel radiates the temperature that it had stored and this mechanism alone saves the camel 5 liters of water seriously 5 liters of water now we will discuss about how the camel is using utilizing its own water and other ability of camel is the use of water that is produced during the metabolic reactions camel has a great reserve of fat more than any other animal if we have compare sheep just have a look at, or just listen to me that if sheep is having hind quarters that are having fat of approximately 11 kg that is well known of its hind quarter fat camel have 10 times more that is 120 kilograms of fat stored oh my god so in its ham the fat is stored not water in camel ham the fat is stored and it is metabolized to produce carbon dioxide water and energy and this water is used by camel and the energy is used for the living processes occurring within the body it can go without water for approximately 1 and a half months it can survive without water for 1 and a half months and a human can't imagine now an other special quality of camel is the ability to quench its thirst with any kind of water yeah its extraordinary ability is to drink any type of water that is concentrated water concentrated salty water fresh water swampy water the water from swamps are bitter in taste okay so it has ability to drink any sort of water as its kidneys are specialized in its function that's all for now thank you so much for your time I hope you like the video. Allah Hafiz. Take care.